All right. Whether this is a fuck, man. Okay, okay, we're back. So at this point in time, this is either the second part to the original video or it's just the second phase of what I really want to talk about. Either or, here we are. Let's get right into it. So you feel me? Well, all of that being said, right? Um, you know, I be thinking and shit. You feel me? My mind be wondering. And you know, I don't know if anybody else go through this, but you just go through phases, especially like with anything. And you know, of course, with the video topic at hand, it's with women, right? How I'm feeling. I, I, you know, going through so much bullshit, you naturally just want to just be like, you know what? I just want to get out the game. You feel me? You don't even got to get out the game completely. Like, I just want to take a break. Right now, that's what I'm feeling like, right? Oh, there's one more situation. There's one more situation, but I'm not going to go tell y'all. I probably got like seven, eight examples, bro. I almost hit ten. Like, I'm shooting, fool. And, yeah. Um, and honestly, personally, you know, I'm on, I'm on cool down, bro. I'm cooling. I'm not really tripping. I'm in class today. Like, yeah, bro, I don't really give a fuck. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm walking past these same girls. I tried to, you know, they, they did my shit in. Cause they did me in. And that's cool. They could do me all they want, bro. And this is what I tell my guys, man. And I'm going to tell you, too. You need to be approaching because, right? Because it's so important right now. Because every time a girl turn you down, all you're doing is adding to the stockpile of women that did you wrong, that's gonna be sick when you come up. Yeah. Every time a girl do me in, I'll be like, yes, thank you. Yes, yes, you fucked up. You fucked up. And I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you, man. So that that day, because you know, as a man, you feel me? The grind is a longer grind, right? It really takes time to get your foundation to become the nigga that you want to become. It's not going to happen overnight. And it's not going to happen quickly. And it's not going to be easy. So that when that day comes, when you truly independent, you truly at your peak, your prime, you feel me? You got your mind right, your money right, your physique right. You got you right, and all them females see it, bro. They're gonna be sick. And then you know what else they're gonna think? Damn, I curved him. Damn, I flaked on him. Damn, I wish I didn't treat him like that. But by that time, it's not gonna fucking matter. And by that time, I'm going to have the power. You're going to have the power, bro. You're going to have the last say-so. <laughs> because our game is different from theirs. You feel me? We're playing for end game. They're not playing for end game, bro. They're playing now. We're playing for end game. You know what end game is? All right, let's talk about destiny. End game is the raid. The raid on nightfall on heroic mode with the modifiers. Endgame is Fortnite, the last circle. You feel me? It's only like five to ten people left. That's endgame. You feel me? Right now, the game that the women play is all early game, bro. You feel me? The off-spawn kills. You kill the little thrall. You little minions. You feel me? They love that shit. They love that shit. You know, we got to do it too, but we really have to prep for endgame. Because that's the game we were made to play. And that's why I be like, yeah, it's cool, bro. It's cool. I love it. I love it. Because just know, I don't know about you, when I'm self-made, I'm popping it. I'm popping my shit. I'm flexing it. I'm not saying I'm flexing bricks. Of no, it's a different way to flex your money, fool. Flex your lifestyle. Flex the things you do. Flex the things you like to do. Flex yourself. Flex your achievements, your accomplishments. Because your lifestyle is going to say otherwise, bro. And that's what you want. Like how these girls show their body and they be having all this and showing that. Bro, don't let nobody try to shame you or say that you're doing wrong for flexing your gains in the gym. Or flexing the money that you got to buy whatever it is. A new car, uh, a new computer, something that you're into. Whatever the case may be. Flex that shit, bro. Because that shit actually means something. You actually work for that, bro. 
So for someone to say that you shouldn't flex what you have or you should be ashamed that why are you trying to impress? Bro, fuck all that. That's hater talk. When niggas start talking like that, they start talking like haters, bro. Facts. Facts. So, you know, I'm on cool down right now. Like I'm saying, bro, I'm prepping for the long game and I know that. I know that. These girls that I be trying to talk to and you feel me, whatever the case may be. It's just that. It's just a side quest. Y'all want to know what I really, you know, you want to know what I want? You want to know what I want? I think I need to make this clear. I think I need to verbally say it. This is what I want. And I don't think it's a lot. You feel me? I'm not asking for no girlfriend. I'm not asking for no friends with benefits. I'm asking for a mutual connection, a vibe, right? What is that? Because you're talking in vague, general terms. All right, I'm going to tell you, bro. That's literally just me being able to have that female energy, that female, that feminine presence. You feel me? That feminine attention when I want to. Sometimes I want to go to the movies and just go watch something that I'm genuinely interested in and have the ability to invite a girl to if she want to come because I'm inviting her into my life. I'm not trying to go. I mean, yeah, going on dates is cool, but maybe I just want to have a companion to go do the regular shit that I do. What's wrong with that? And it could just be simply like that until it turns into something deeper. But we're not expecting that, bro. I'm not expecting that. I'm really not. I'm really not. If I had to say, I just want to be able to have feminine energy available whenever I want it, right? And just be just like that. That's, you know, when I'm talking to these girls trying to shoot, that's what I'm trying to get. So that, you know, when I feel like being on the phone, I could be on the phone. And I'm not expected to be on the phone or expected to talk to you all day, every day. If that's what they want, you can feel me, you can give it to them, you know, play it how you want. But, you know, just remember, how do you want it to go? How do you want to play the game? And how I want to play the game, I just want it real simple. Real simple. So, you know, I think that should get a lot of uh, confusion out the air about what's my real intention with trying to get girls right. You feel me? I done been through that phase in high school where you just beating everything down. You feel me? You Your whole phase, whatever the case may be, man. Um, uh, I think I'm past that. I, I really do. There's been times where, you know, I talk to girls, hit, don't even really know them within the first week. I'm not interested no more. Do not show your face, fool. I don't even want to talk to you. And I'm like, yeah, that shit kind of lame because after I get it, don't want it no more. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Only niggas can relate. Only niggas know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, yeah, I'm like, bro, before I even go and do all those type of things, bro, let me actually get to know you. Let me build some type of emotional connection so that when it does happen, it's more than just me beating down a stranger. You know what I mean? Like, for me, that shit kind of just whack. And another thing, too, maybe it's because I ain't been able to do that. You feel me? I guess you could say whole phase with super attractive women. You know what I mean? Maybe... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it really changed. I don't think there's no, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't really know. So, so yeah, I'm past all of that. I know what I want. I'm real firm in what I want. And, uh, if it ain't how I want it, I ain't going to do it. And you shouldn't either. So yeah, man, that's pretty much me. I'm not really tripping on females right now. You feel me? I'm in like a little plateau. You feel me? If we doing this, I'm down here right now. Like, I'm really just cooling. You know what I mean? I'm not really tripping because we can only live with reality. The moment you fight reality is the moment you're going to be messed up, bro. So always just accept reality for what it is and always be real with yourself. And you can't never lose, bro. And be comfortable with yourself, too. So, yeah, man, Um, I think... I think that's everything I want to talk about. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything I want to talk about. I don't know what I'm gonna name this shit because this is just how I was feeling, and I just have to go make a video on it. So uh, yeah, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm scared to even open it up in the editor to see how long it is. But yeah, man, <sighs> that is the video, y'all. I appreciate every single one of y'all for taking the time out your day to come watch my video. Hopefully you gained some insight. Hopefully you're able to be relatable in one way, shape, or another. 
Other than that, be ready for the next video, but you can't unless you are liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping this sauce, baby. You feel me? Other than that, man, if anybody wants to contact me for any reason, my link is down below. I'm available 24-7 around the clock. Use it at your disposal. And other than that, man, I'm Runaway Ron, running towards the best version of myself. And I'll see my loyal Runaway gang next time. I'm out of here.